Hey everybody, this is Dave Blair. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but um, I wanted to talk about the Husenveld pedals that I now have. So what you're seeing right now is a clip of the way that I got them. I've had them for about two and a half months, going on three months now, and uh, bought them used from somebody in the sim pit, and I'm really happy with them. However, um, Mike Neekum, uh reached out to me and said that he had made a mod for these pedals and asked me to try them out. And so I had helped him in the past with the Thrustmaster uh, TLCM pedals, and he had made a mod for that that I really liked. I also heard from other people that have tried Mike Neekum's mod for these uh, Husingveld Sprint pedals um, that they really liked it too. So I said, go ahead and send it to me and um, I'll make a video and, and uh, let everyone know what I think. But anyway, here's uh, what it looked like before. So this is um, the way they came to me stock. And again, these are Husingveld Sprint pedals. Now, apparently these elastomers can wear out over time. And uh, Mike Neekum has come up with a mod, again, just like he did with the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals, um, where he 3D prints these elastomers. Uh, the black ones are harder. Red ones are softer and the red ones are numbered, but um, I'll show you that real quick. So you go on Etsy.com and here is his uh, homepage on Etsy.com. Again, D-Nut Stuff, titles right up here at the top. This is where he sells the stuff that he's made. Now I do have this tumbler that he made for the American Muscle Series. Really nice quality. I'm really happy with this. It's also got his logo D-Nut stuff on here. Might be hard to see, but. Yep, really happy with this. I'm also really happy with the Thrustmaster mod that he sent me. And now I have the um, Husingveld Sprint Pedal mod. So let's just go over what he sent me. So he sent me the Deluxe Racer kit, again, for the Husingveld Sprint Pedals and I set it up the way that he had uh, told me to, and so far, so good, it feels good. But this is what comes in the kit. Basically, you have the, um, the three washers, the, the black ones, which are the stiff ones, there's three of them, and then the red ones are all numbered one through five, there's two number fives, um, but they're from softer to harder. There's also a dust cover, which I put on mine, covers the electronics in the back and here's a bigger copy of that sheet that he sent me now I, I went ahead and set mine up to pro race and I followed his instruction um, I also changed mine to the max force of 40 after calibrating so the first thing you want to do is calibrate your pedals once you've made the change and then um, start use this as a starting point and so far it feels really good so I originally met Mike in the American Muscle Series, and he's also now in the Sim Pit Road Racing Series. And um, so far, he's been really helping out a lot of people. Again, I've heard a lot of good things about his mods that he's made and the Tumblr that he sells on his website. Again, going back to his homepage here, if you have the um, Thrustmaster TLCMs, I can highly recommend that brake mod. Um, he also has the American Muscle Series coasters here. And again, the tumbler for $16 was fantastic quality. That's the one that I got. You can also get your name on it. So well, he's got a lot of interesting stuff on here. And um, yeah, if you're interested or you have some either Thrustmaster pedals or the Husenveld Sprint pedals, you might want to check this out. Well, I tried to change mine out while holding a camera, which I do not recommend. I recommend putting the camera down and doing it with two hands, not just one. But for the most part, it was pretty simple. You loosen the top, then you can pop the bottom out, which takes a little while, but eventually I got it. Now the dust cover covers up this part down here, which is nice. So once I changed them out and I set them up the way that Mike had recommended, and here you can see me trying them out for the first time. Again, it doesn't look like they move much, but they really feel different under your foot. 
And if you go back to when I showed you the original, they didn't appear to move much either. But again, it's like um, the way that it feels, it's more squishy than the way it was originally. But still, you have much better control over your travel. And again, it doesn't look like it's moving much, but under your foot, it feels like it's, it's moving the right amount. I guess that's what I, you know, the best way I can sum it up. But so far, so good. It feels really good. If you're interested in modifying your Husenveld pedals, I highly recommend you give Mike Nikum a try at Stuff on Etsy.com. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.